So, Coach, why don't we start to get this out of the way first and foremost? Why don't you tell us who the players will lead are? <laughs> well, to, to, be on, to be honest with you, um, <laughs> we're still just going to kill Tim, but we're still kind of in debate right now because. We had a couple guys on offense that uh, we can go with, and that's kind of a hard call right now. Um, you know, defensively, I, you know, we're leaning toward Kyle right now, but I'd like to wait before I. Make we can we can release that later. Yeah. So why don't we why don't we start then with some 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 comments, some general comments, and then we'll follow up questions. Just uh, again. Um, Good game. Uh, certainly, it's always good when you win a big conference game. I felt like uh, you know, we really played well offensively. I thought defensively, too. I mean, I, I knew uh, North Texas was a very potent offense. And um, of course, Mason Fine's a guy that we've had the utmost respect for. And again, that was a, uh, I thought we played pretty well on, on pretty much all areas. We had a, Couple plays we like to have back. We want to be better in special teams. I, did, I felt like uh, that was a phase we didn't do as well in. I felt like we won the offensive and defensive phase. I didn't feel like we played as well special teams, so we'll address that for sure. But uh, it was a good win. Uh, just, uh, you know, now we got to move on to another big game with another really good football team. So, uh, again, uh, it's Conference USA play. Pat and Tim are going to love this statement, but here we go again. You know what I mean? It's another tough opponent and a team that has our respect. Uh, so, uh, got to have a good week. Coach, how have you seen that offensive staff work together this year? I just think they work together extremely well, Pat. They're a bunch of great guys. They can get along. I think Buster's are doing a great job with those guys. We think about Scotty and Ryan and uh, Chris and you know, everybody, uh, Reed, everybody gets along well there. They all work together well. And uh, just like I've said it, I'm blessed to have a bunch of good men uh, on our staff, uh, offensively and defensively. So, again, just a great bunch of guys and great football coaches. Coach, at the end of the game, um, you guys were really able to grind it out on the ground, mm -hmm. run the football, maybe something you haven't been able to do earlier. Can you talk about the progression offensive line and what you saw there? Well, I, th I felt like and I've been pretty vocal about this. I really felt like uh, we've run the ball. Uh, when we needed to, and I felt like we've done that all year. There's a couple games I think we've run it out pretty good. So, again, um, I think they're doing a great job. I think, uh, and, and there's continuity there. And I just think, I think those guys have played well all season. So I haven't had any issue. They they block well. They they protect well. And again, uh, DeMichael is really um, finding his niche in there and made some great cuts. So, uh, yeah, really proud of those guys. They're fighting hard. You got a lot of folks out of receivers, so obviously a lot of options. But Jordan Mitchell didn't play. Uh, yeah, we held Jordan. Uh, so just but Jordan's a guy. You'll see Jordan back in action. Uh, <clears throat> how would you, is is Jack an extension of the of Buster on the field? I mean, how would you say that kind of work? You know, I think uh, I think. Uh, they have a great relationship, but I, th I think uh, so do all our quarterbacks with Buster. I just think, um, it, and Jack's a cerebral guy, Pat he is, and he's a guy that, again, he understands football, and I think that's always a big thing at the quarterback position. So, uh, but they, they definitely uh, um, work well together, and, and uh, I think uh, Jack's really growing as a football player. What kind of liberties does he get at the line of scrimmage? Is he allowed to make his own yeah, checks? Yeah, he gets quite a few liberties. Jack's a smart football player. Um, in this run against Louisiana Tech, uh, can you is there one consistency, you know, consistent theme that you've noticed from your team that y'all have done really well against these guys? You know, each year, Pat, each year is a different fight. I mean, I mean, we know every we know we're playing on a outstanding football team and last year doesn't matter you know it doesn't matter You're, each fight's a new fight a new year and um, you know I think we're mature enough and we better be mature enough to understand that doesn't matter we, we got to get ready to play a good football team and, and uh, we got to prepare well and play well what did you think? Did you think that uh, defense did one of his best job in terms of getting to the quarterback? I do. I think they. I think they played well. I mean, again, I think it might have been their season low, you know, as far as. But I mean, 
like we talked about Saturday night, you play in North Texas, you don't, you you really don't go in that and say, okay, you know, they're not going to cross the 50-yard line today. I mean, the, their quarterback has been too good for too long. So, like I said, there, there's a player too, Pat, I'd love to have back that, you know, you just, you know, that they got the one touchdown on a little, on a wheel route on the sideline. We had a missed assignment. But other than that, you know, I thought, hey, give fine credit. A couple passes he put right in there. And, and you know, that's what good quarterbacks do. So uh, I thought we covered well. Talk about the atmosphere Saturday and how your team fed off the crowd. Uh, it was, you know, again, it was a great atmosphere at the Rock. I think that's always important. It's it's uh, it's a twelfth man when uh, it's rock and it's loud and, and uh, you know we certainly uh, I know the players love having everybody out there and, and it, it's it's a like I said it's an extra it's an extra player on the field at times uh, for our, for our football team so I hope everybody had a good time you know I hope everybody's enjoying it. maybe they had an extra Bud Light or two up there in the uh, <laughs> stands but you know. I think it's been great, and, and uh, again, we we love the we love the enthusiasm and the excitement the crowd brings. Uh, uh, what have you noticed about this Louisiana Tech team? Uh, you know, Pat, they're they're very similar to what you see every year. Well coached, good football team. You know, there's there's no secret to the success they've had. They're, they've always been a good team in this conference. And, Coach Holtz and his staff do a great job, and, and uh, so again, yeah, we know we're playing a good football team. There's no doubt about it. And uh, same old, same old. The quarterback there, Jack Lee's, he gets the nod. Jack transfers, et cetera, et mm -hmm. cetera. Do you think you're going to have to calm Jack down a little bit this week? Or? Well, no, I don't. I mean, Jack, they, we played last year, and yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean. It's another. It's a big game because it's the next game, and it's, and it's a big conference game. And I know Louisiana Tech's approaching it the same way. It's, it's, it is what it is. But uh, again, uh, we understand. Uh, like I said, every year is a different challenge and, and a different football team. And Louisiana Tech's a good football team. They're five and one. So yeah. you have to understand we're playing a good team, and so it's a another big conference game. And um, so uh, we understand what we're. Facing. Uh, overall health kind of coming in. How you I think we, we came out well Saturday, so hopefully we'll gain another guy or two back. Uh, that we're slowly creeping, inching that way back, getting healthy. So hopefully we'll get them all back healthy soon. Best game by the O line? That's a hard one, Tim. Uh, uh, I thought they protected well. They as did. Well they, as they, they did. They did. I thought. I thought they played well at Troy too. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, maybe so. It'd be fair to say if not, it'd be one to talk one up to. Uh, talk about the linebackers with Booth back and makes and a difference. I tell you, I think uh, Rakeem is—he's kind of our defensive leader. He's a guy that, uh, again, he's such a cerebral player. He sets the table, and I really felt like you know. He and Swayze played really well Saturday. So uh, again, it's always you know we lost for King. Really, you know, he got hurt at that all court game. Kind of yeah, that's when he kind of got banged up, and then we got to Troy in like the first play or first drive. He, he was out for the next three weeks or whatever. So certainly, you know, defensively, it's good to get your leader back out there on the field and. and uh, Keem's a guy that, again, is a really good football player, smart football player. And, you know, you, you see a difference of 41 out there. What do you think about the defensive line's ability to get pressure, but also kind of keep a uh, fine, pretty I much hemmed they, up they, in the know, pocket? I've you know, really felt like all year long uh, that Delmon and DeMario and those guys have played really well. You know, uh, you know kids played well, too. I mean, you know, John got some good pressures. You look at uh, even Terry had a nice third down pressure, but again, in, inside those guys have, uh, have played well. What's allowed Coker Wright uh, to play so early and, and just? You know, Pam, he kind of—I see—I said this right—he reminded me a lot of Travis. <coughs> you know, he's just—he's uh, a smart. He's already physically developed, smart, strong, um, just tough football player. And Coker was that guy that you know he was 
a top priority for us in recruiting. And uh, when he chose to be a Golden Eagle, we were extremely happy. Uh, but I, I saw a lot of the same similarities in him and Trace. And of course, he got hurt right off the get-go too. That first game, he actually started for us. Uh, mm -hmm. First game of the season, he got hurt, so he's been out for a few weeks. So getting him back in the mix helps too. So uh, again, they, that gives us more depth and more flexibility up front on offensive line. Did we get any time off for the birthday? No. Uh, we got a sandwich. Came by. The family came out for about five minutes. Sandwich, <laughs> but Sunday's a busy day. Yeah. Put a candle in the sandwich, or no? no. <laughs> <laughs> you get so old now, I'll be able to see the candle. <laughs> Wax the That's right. That's right. Anything else? Coach, thank you. I appreciate it.